everyone welcome back to my channel and today we're about to have so much fun i decided to get glammed up today a very soft glam but i'm taking inspiration from pinterest from what it looked like she has a nude base and then she has just a darker brown over her whole lid and that's it So let's talk about, I don't know, oh, let's talk about my last weekend before quarantine or my last week before quarantine. So um, the Lord was looking out for me because the very last week of quarantine, I was actually in New York and Georgia within a week apart from each other. And those were two major, still major hot spots. I mean, I'm in Georgia now, but I was, when I was in Georgia the weekend before this quarantine happened and the whole lockdown happened, I was going out. I went to the mall. I went out with friends. I, uh, what else? Went out to eat. I was gonna, I thought about adopting a pet, which was actually a gift from a friend. She was gonna buy me a dog or a cat. And I'm kind of glad I didn't take the offer because at the time I had my own apartment and that would have been great. But then this whole lockdown happened and I ended up moving back home. And I wouldn't have been able to bring the animal with me, whatever I got with me back home. My mom would have had a fit. And so it worked out, even though I do want a dog eventually, but it just worked out because it's one less responsibility I really have to think about right now. The weekend that I went to New York, I went to New York the first weekend of March and it was the best time. Like I'm glad I went out with the bang y'all, okay? I went to this beautiful gala birthday party for this lady, uh, I helped the designer Travian Van create the dress and I helped her with the creative process. So I was there to assist the birthday girl and make sure that she was flawless the whole night. We got to enjoy the food, the cake. The whole room was just extravagant beautiful i made my own dress uh, that was my first full gown that i made for anyone well not take that back that was my first full gown i made for myself so i have made other gowns but that one was probably my most extravagant piece okay real quick i'm gonna go in with these two browns and kind of hit right above my eyebrow bone but yeah so it was definitely worth it you know i stayed in the hotel y'all i just risked it all I, I was in the middle of the epicenter of the whole virus in the very beginning when it was spreading like crazy and nobody knew what it was the lord had my back i'm telling y'all because i don't know how i made it out of there without getting something on top of that I went back to school after that weekend and the very next weekend I went to Georgia for spring break because I wanted to spend spring break with my dad so came to Georgia and it was so much fun I enjoyed my time but little did I know that that was my last time that I was going to go shopping that I was going to eat at a restaurant that I was going to hang out with my closest friends that I was going to sew with Travian again. I did not know that was gonna be my last time. I mean, nobody, everyone had a drastic change, but it was like, dang. Then the end of my spring break came along and my school was telling us, yeah, we're gonna close for the next two weeks. We're gonna extend your spring break. We're gonna close. So I'm like, I mean, I'll take an extended spring break, but 
as long as I get to go back, I didn't think I wasn't gonna go back. Like, sorry. I'm gonna go in with this Milani color. It's very purplish brown. But we're gonna go over that before we put the darker brown over the lid. Yeah, so I did not think, expect that that was gonna be the situation at all. But I did go out with the bang. I had a great time in New York. I went fabric shopping as well. Oh my gosh. I met some really cool people who own these fabric stores and I really hope they're still there when this is all over because their fabric was amazing and beautiful. I'm glad I got to see it. I've never experienced that before. So I really hope and pray that one day I will get to see it again. I don't know. Let that concealer clean up some. Hey, I don't know you all. Literally hate putting lashes on. Ugh, oh, it's just messed up, y'all. Crap. Punch the hands. How do y'all do this every day? I feel like my brown isn't... In the picture, her brown is more defined, though. It's like, it's like her brown went all the way. I give up. This is still cute. It's just not like the picture. I thought these two would like do the trick, but I guess not. It's definitely not the picture, but it is soft glam. So it matches the aesthetic. I can now show you the outfit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share, like, and subscribe. However order you want to do it. And I will see you all later in my next video.